What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, our recruiting pool pool is getting a little bit smaller and smaller and smaller. Right now, we're going after, I believe, 19 recruits as of right now. Somewhere around 20, but I do think it's 19. Just going after people that, at this moment in time, I feel like we have a chance at getting. Because our whole thing is just going to be developing. Can we develop these guys into something special? So, it's actually 18 guys that we're going after right now. We only had a couple of team needs. Hopefully, we can hit on those team needs. Um, I'm going to check it after this game, and we're going to see if we need to go back and try to recruit some more guys to try to make sure that everything will be covered going into the next season. Ohio State, one of the best teams in the nation. It's been that way for a long time. They're ranked number six, but they're not unbeatable. Wisconsin, a team that I think if we were to play them, we could beat them. Can we beat Ohio State, though, like Wisconsin did? We're going to find out. Ohio State did get the ball first. They went three and out. So we got the football, and we got Drew Allen, who fat foot that thing. That should have been a touchdown. He should have been down that sideline looking good for a touchdown, but we fat foot it on third down and nine. We're going to find Beckett Wales. He makes the catch. Now it's third down and three. Gully wide open. It's Gully Gully Island. It's first down and goal. going to fire that thing. Look at this pass. A hey, Dawkins down not even a heat stick of missile because that thing was lobbed up and dropped down perfectly what a pass that was man perfect pass by our boy drew allen he's coming into his own he looks like one of the best quarterbacks in the big 10 if you ask me so first down in 10 and yes i am biased they get the ball to carlos hyde look at the power just straight punching people then he breaks his tackle again to get thrown to the turf twice on, on one play is vicious very vicious. They run the ball with Braxton Miller. He's going to pick up the first down. Third down and two up that guy. And this Ohio State rushing attack might be tough for us to stop. First down and 10. They're going to give it to Hall. And Hall has a hallway to the end zone. Gets dragged down at the one-yard line. Ohio State is already up to 84 yards rushing. First down and goal. That pass is a good one. And Brown is chilling in the end zone. 7-7 contest now. Allen steps up in the pocket. Going to find his man, and that's going to result in a first down. Gain of 16 on that pass play. Looking downfield is Allen on first and 10. Quick slant caught by West. Back-to-back -back completions and another first down. First down in 10. Allen steps up, fires it underneath the coverage. Going to be caught by Smith. Breaks two tackles and gets brought down after a gain of eight. So second down and two. Up that gut with Jerome Smith. Takes a nasty hit. And the hitting in the season has been pretty, pretty fierce, especially when the Big Ten uh, schedule opened up and we started playing against these teams in the Big Ten. The hitting has been a little bit different. So let's head to that second quarter, all tied up at seven apiece. So we're driving at second down and nine. Allen has it. Allen under pressure, going to try to avoid the rush, and he's going to get dropped for a loss of seven. Third down and 16. We fire towards the end zone, nearly intercepted. So we do have to set up for a field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is going to be good. So Miller has it. We send the pressure. We send a good pass rush, but not good enough because we can't tackle. We got to him, but we couldn't bring him down. Wide receiver screen to Smith, and Devin Smith has enough to move those chains. First down and 10. Braxton looking to get out the pocket. He's going to get smacked by Crum. Crum just rolls him up and lays him down. Second down and 15. Miller throws it to the left side. Caught by Thomas. And Thomas is going to have the first down. Big Michael Thomas coming through in a major way. First down and 10. That pass caught by Michael Thomas again. And that's going to be another first down. First down and 10. A well-timed blitz. But Thomas is left wide open. Who is this guy? He might be good. Third down and 9. Miller has it. Braxton fires it. Caught by Tom. I think Thomas is his favorite receiver now this one was ruled incomplete but they're gonna say his foot came down in bounds and then slid out of bounds you be the judge i don't know but they're gonna give them the first down up the gut goes hide into the end zone he runs and ohio state has the lead for the first time today third down and five wales has it look at him able to stick inbounds or stay inbounds as he sticks that foot in the ground and turns up the sideline and then thunderbrook he makes the catch, and that's going to result in a first down. Second down and nine. Looking now, fielding getting rocked. So we continue to give up some pressure, but not a lot so far this game. We do give up some pressure right there on third down and 11. Forces us into a quick pass. That leads to a field goal that we missed. Yes, missing field goals. Kind of what we do. First down and 10. Carlos Hyde gets wide open. He punishes a defender, and he's off to the races. 
So up to the 44-yard line they go. They fire this one. That pass falls incomplete on third and seven. Makes it fourth and seven. Second down on 14. Should we just be running the football here? Forget that. There's a small window. Fire that thing in there, Drew Allen. Fire that thing up in there. First down and 10 now. Allen has the football. Allen's going to roll to the right side. These receivers continue to get open for him. He's going to fumble it, though. Talking about Cobena. And we get the ball right back to Ohio State. Now, they're gonna, we're going to challenge it. And it looks like that knee is down. How they got a camera right there to see that shot without anybody tripping over the cameraman is beyond me. The technology in this game is top notch. That pass to Christopher Clark, a beautiful one. Number 18 for a gain of 18. Allen fires it to the end zone. Broken up underneath. We got to set up for a field goal. But a fabulous drive. Right now we have more scoring drives than they do. But they have the lead, obviously. And that's why you play the game, to have the lead. So 14-13 is the score. We get the ball first in the second half. Because like I said, Ohio State start off the game with a three and out. Jerome Smith. Breaking ankles and breaking hearts. Going to pick up a first down gain of six. Second down and two. Read option. Drew Allen's going to keep it. Look at the block on the left side. That was called Benna laying down the defensive back. And we got ourselves a lane for a first down. And then a broken coverage, broken play. Clark into the end zone. His second touchdown reception of the game. And Drew Allen is lighting up the skies. He is 22 for 25, playing in the Carrier Dome, must help. I don't think you can ever have a windy day inside this dome facility. Second down and eight now, Miller looking to throw it and almost gave it away. Almost threw it right into the hands of our middle linebacker. Miller, under pressure, fires it to his receiver. That pass caught by Brown, but not in bounds. So we take over with a chance to increase our lead. We're gonna run the ball with Smith, breaks the tackle. Breaking ankles, still on his feet, gets away. And he finally gets dragged down at the 45-yard line. Second down and two. Give it to Gully. And Gully with the spin move. And then Gully's still fighting. And he's going to pick up seven. Second down and four from the eye formation. We give it to Smith. Trying to turn the corner. He will. And he gets brought down by Shazier. But has a first down. Allen looking downfield. Fires it to West. West makes the catch. And West falls forward for a Syracuse first down again. Everything that we want to work on this drive is working. We wanted to run the ball this drive. That's working. We keep it on the ground with Drew Allen. He gets inside the five. We're going to run the ball again, and we cross the goal line. So we're able to take a significant amount of time off of the clock. We're able to drive down and make it a 13-point game. The first time we've been up by two scores. Miller with the carry. He's going to carry a defender and pick up a first down. Then hide up the gut. And Hyde still on his feet. And Hyde has a gain of 10. And the fresh set of 10 for Ohio State. They're going to run that read option. Carlos Hyde breaking ankles and breaking hearts. Has a lane to the end zone. Slows down just a little bit. He must be gassed. But does get a gain of 24. And they're inside the 10. Read option. Braxton Miller in the end zone. And the lead is quickly cut back down to a one possession game. So third down and two. Drew Allen has it. Throws it. Probably should have went for the fullback right there. Either way, we're off the field. Ryan Shazier is able to bat it away. Carlos Hyde gets the carry. Good blocking by the big fellas up front for the Buckeyes. And that's going to take us to the fourth quarter of play. We're up by six. So second down. Six yards to go. Hyde gets the carry. Blocking phenomenal again. The running. Even better. Running with purpose and power in a gain of 25. First down and 10. A motion, a receiver back into the back foot. They give it to Carlos Hyde. Carlos Hyde still on his feet. Still running out there like he's tired, but he does pick up a solid gain. You can see him huffing and puffing back there as he lines up to Braxton Miller's left. Gets the carry and gets into the end zone. They weren't hurrying up all game long. This is why there's so many plays in this condensed game because they kept on hurrying up almost after every single play. About 90% of the time, the Buckeyes offense was going hurry up. So first down and 10 now. Allen has a quick slant. Caught by Cole Bennett. Dragged down but has a first down in his back pocket. Second down and two. Up the gut goes Smith. And another first down. We are keeping up with this Ohio State passing attack, rushing attack. This is their offense. I was not expecting our offense to play as well. But we are playing just as good if not better. Allen looking down. Field to the back of the end zone. Caught by Cole Bennett. Touchdown Syracuse. And now we will go for two. But we wouldn't get it. So 28-33 to 33 is now the score. Just a five-point lead. And the Braxton Miller 
We know that he could be a playmaker at the quarterback spot. They're going to run that read option again. Runs over a defensive back. And then he's going to carry a guy for a first down. Inside Syracuse territory. Miller has it. He steps up. He fires it. Caught by Spencer. And he gets down to the 15-yard line. They're going to spread things out. Hall is the tailback. Miller fires it towards the end zone. Caught by Thomas but stops short. So Michael Thomas with a gain of 10. They give it to Hall on first and goal. And it's a one-yard TD run. Now Ohio State's going to go for two to make it a three-point game. Miller under pressure, and Miller's going down. And the Syracuse defense answers, answers the call. First down and 10, 2.45 on the clock. Allen has it, fires it, caught by Cobena. Cobena is loose, crosses the 50. All kinds of speed. They're running over each other, and he's going to take it to the crib on a slant route. Take that slant to the crib like the good old Jay Rice used to do back in the day for those Niners. Quick little slant. Nobody in front of him. Able to use his speed to get away. There goes the Ohio State guys fumbling and bumbling and stumbling all over each other. And now we have a chance to increase our lead again by going for two. And again, we will be denied. But it's fourth and six now. The Buckeyes got to get something right here. They throw it to Michael Thomas and it's going to be dropped. So we take over with a chance to end this game. We're going to run the ball with Jerome Smith. Gain of nine on first down. Second down and one. Minute 03 on the, minute 30, excuse me, on the clock. And that's going to result in the first down. So third down and six. We have to run one more play. And we're going to run the ball with Smith. Smith could dive and get the first down, but he wants to hold enchilada. And I was thinking about, are we going to nick chub this thing? I don't think so, though. Third down and 12. They run a screen pass to Hyde, who does not get out of bounds. They rule him inbounds, and it's going to be tick, 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 tick. The clock is going to run. Three, two, one, and the upset is complete. The Syracuse Orange have beat the Ohio State Buckeyes. What a game. 46 to 34. High scoring. This was the highest point total I think we've had since the Minnesota game. So it was nice to see. Drew Allen is a flat-out monster out there. Our running game was good. The receivers got open. Coben has seven catches for 142. And Jerome, Jerome Smith, six catches. Not the, not the biggest total in yards, but we were able to find him constantly out of the backfield. So instead of it being like third down and seven, we got the third down and four. Third down and three. And that helped so much because the Buckeyes, again, they were going fast. But us being able to keep possession of the football, give our defense a little bit of a rest, I think that helped because Drew Allen outplayed Braxton Miller as far as throwing the football and even running the football. So that helped tremendously. But that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.